Hi, I'm going to show you how to make an account on carers.org so that you can take part in all of our interactive features and keep in touch with other carers. It's quite straightforward, but there are a few stages that you might not have seen before. First of all, you're going to want to go to our front page and click on register at the top right hand side there. Choose yourself a username. Uh, remember, you can have spaces, full stops, hyphens or underscores, but you can't have any other punctuation. And type in your email address. Uh, this is one I've set up in advance. Uh, so it should work fine. And then some information about you. So first name and surname. I know I don't sound like an Anne, but there we are. Now here you get to decide, would you like people to see your username? That's the thing you've chosen up here uh, when you write something on the discussion board, or would you rather they see your actual name? Just a matter of preference. So a few other optional details, these are just uh, examples. Choose whether you're male or female or leave it on rather not say. And if you'd like, you can choose a picture from your own computer to be displayed next to all your information. So here's a recent photo of me. Choose the file and then click upload. You may have to wait a moment for it to appear. And now, using these little boxes on the edge, I can drag it around to decide exactly which part of the picture I want to appear. So at the top there, that's how it's going to display on the website. Perfect. Now, down here, I can type in a bit more information about myself. Now, this can be anything you like, really. It's just whatever you'd like other people to see when they click on your name to find out who you are. So this is what I'm typing. Uh, you might want to put a bit about your life, a bit about what you do. Uh, it's up to you, really. So that's fine for me. So choose what area of the country I live in. Uh, whether I'm a carer, whether I'm a member of staff, anything like that. Who I'm caring for. Uh, I'll leave that because I've already said I'm not a carer. Uh, a quick little security check just so we know you're human. So just follow the instructions there. And finally, tick the box if you'd like to sign up for our email newsletter. So there's quite a lot of information there. Let's just run through it again. When you're setting up an account, you do need to provide a username you'd like to use, an email address that works, and your first and last name. But as well as those, you might also want to provide your postcode, a picture of you, your biography, details about your caring, or your region. And those last four will be visible for other carers who register on the site, just so you can tell the other people a bit more about yourself and to make it easier for people to find others who have things in common with them, which is, after all, what our site's here for. So that's all the information filled in. And when we submit that, we get to the confirmation page here. So now let's saunter over to our email inbox, see what's waiting there. And there's a couple of things already. First of all, just a little message to let you know that everything's been set up fine so far. And at some point in the next day or so, one of the online support team will switch your account on. This is just another little check we have to make sure that people can't register just for sending spam and other nastiness to the boards. Just a way of keeping it nice for everybody. And next up, there's a message about the email newsletter. Now, if you didn't tick the box to say that you want to receive our newsletter, you won't have one of these. But if you did, it's another link to click on just to confirm that you really do want us to send you our newsletter every month or so. Just another safeguard to make sure we're not sending people things they don't want. So click on that link get a thank you message and that's that one done. So all that remains now is to wait for your account to be activated. So if you'd like to step with me now a few hours into the future and you'll receive an email like this. Your account at the Princess Royal Trust for Carers has been activated. You can now log in by clicking this link but the link will only work once so do wait till you've got time to, uh, to follow it all through. Click on the link and you'll be taken to this page. Now, because that login will only work once, now is the time to choose a password for next time. So click the login button. You'll be taken to this form. And while you're choosing your password, you might see some suggestions popping up there. When you're happy with it, click save. And there we are, the changes have been saved. So just as a final reminder, that email with the temporary link, it doesn't work anymore, delete it. From now on, all you need is your username and password. Go to the front page, click on login at the top right there, tap in my username. So in this case, my browser's remembered it for me. Yours might or might not. Type in the password you've just chosen. Click the login button. And now you're back on the site, ready to join in the discussion boards, the chat room, and everything else on the site. And we hope you will. So thanks for listening, and we hope to see you on the site sometime soon. 
And just to remind you, if you are ever having problems with your account or your passwords, just let us know and we'll do what we can to sort it out. Thanks.